Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at my home in Zoodesia Zoo because my pockets are absolutely overflowing with wood and, and oranges and sulfur shelf appetites <gasps> and enough lettuce that we will actually be able to trade for a few things from the Slug Kingdom today. Uh, so we do have a little bit more that I want to wrap up at my home before we tackle the huge project that Tata the Trickster Peafowl actually has for us which i will be talking to you guys about in a little bit but oh i'm just so excited it's gonna be a really fun project and it's just kind of nice to be able to be home i might start jumping between like writing sunflower or aster seed to the locations where we're going to be doing projects and then jumping back home a little bit more often because i remember in the old world one of my favorite things to do was to spend the morning gathering all of my little essence berries. Oh, they're so cute. And just kind of being ready for the day. There we go. Okay, let's get up to, I'll nibble them to 25. So ta-da! Now I'll be able to name all sorts of the different animals. Oh my gosh, I have so many in here. <laughs> okay, I definitely have underestimated how many essence berries I actually already had prepared up here. Holy cow! There's treasure hiding everywhere around our world. I love that about our life. And actually, speaking of treasure, oh my gosh, I want to wear the flower headband. It's been so long since I wore the flower headband. Look, and I'm surrounded by leaves. This, this is truly the life. The only thing that could make this a little better is if I back up a bit. Ah, and now I'm standing in moss. Truly the leafy, green, beautiful life. What a wonderful way to wake up today. Oh my gosh. But yeah, okay. So I actually had dreams about working in the little wood workshop that we have started because I'm really excited. I'm really hoping we can make a whole bunch of these desks because what is that? Oh, it's a chicken. Hi, little chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was, that was, I had no idea. I was like, is there an alien in my yard? What is happening? No, it's just one of our adorable chickens. But as you guys know, I keep running around the zoo, new things pop up. The whole reason we have been here discovering the Slug Kingdom and new ways to set up the garden is because <sighs> Henry passed away. It just happened so suddenly. We had to leave Graveler right where she was uh, with the Gardens of Babylon just barely started because Henry passed away. So you never know what's going to happen in the zoo. And you never know when you're gonna have to just abandon one project to run to another. So I'm really hoping we can get a desk made, uh, a whole bunch of them actually, to put throughout the world. And then when we have a desk, we can go ahead and have little notes. Uh, let's see, testing. Testing, Martha, don't be mad at me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I can write in that. Yay, and then you can come back to the notes. So that is why I am so excited about the woodworking shop because we can make a bunch of desks. I can leave the desk scattered throughout the world around our various projects. And then when we're done, we can sign the book and maybe start a bookshelf for completed projects. Oh, I just have so many ideas. I actually, there's a funny story. When I was in high school, I had a creative writing class. Oh, hello, Lala. Very nice to see you. I will gently put your little egg away. There you go. Well, let's go make some more desks and things and I will tell you guys the story about how I have more ideas than sense because when I was in high school, I took a really cool creative writing class. But my problem is I had too many ideas. I had more ideas than I actually had time to make all the ideas happen. Uh, and so I had notebooks overflowing with concepts, but I would get so excited about the different ideas I had, the different projects, my daydreams, that I really struggled to actually get anything done. Uh, and my professor at the time, well, I guess he was not a professor, he was a teacher, uh, but my teacher at the time was like, all right, you need to learn to treat it like a garden. If you allow, puppies, may I please thank you, Tate. <laughs> Lily, did you pick some up too? You did, oh my gosh. I'll take that pine wood actually, Lily, thank you. Uh, but my teacher at the time 
told me to think about my ideas like a garden, where if I threw down dozens and dozens of seeds and never took care of them, or never tried to kind of weed them out so they would have a little bit of space from one another, then the seeds would never grow and my little garden project would never come to like ready to be harvested. <laughs> So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Even now you can kind of see that I still do that to this day. But, all right, hopefully we can make a little progress here. And I actually thought it'd be really cute if we had like a little log on the side just as decoration. Isn't that kind of adorable? And I wanted to make some of the wooden crates that I saw. That we have some of these in the house. And I'm trying to remember how you make these wooden crates. I don't think I can. I think we need to have a trader in the Village of Light who can make crates for me. So, noted. See, and if I had a, a little desk to run up to, I could actually note that idea. In fact, let me go ahead. I'm going to put, like, there you go, a piece of wood there. And let's actually make a, another one of the framed chest and put the framed chest up there. Because I want to have this be an adorable little wood workshop. So let's just focus on that for a minute, Lily and Tate. Uh, should I move the crafting station over? I should probably have a second crafting station. <laughs> Puppies! Tate, thank you very much, boy. Uh, but yeah, I should probably have a second crafting station. Because that is not a crafting station. There we go. Crafting table. Crafting station. Alright, there we are. Uh, you can leave items on the crafting station, like I just put the tea leaves down and they are still there. So that's always helpful. <gasps> can I decorate with a fern in here? Or what about some of our sulfur shelves? <gasps> <laughs> you thought I couldn't sneak an appetite in here. Of course I could. All right, so let's see. I want more of these framing sheets, uh, which require actually, there we go. So we'll make more framing sheets. And then the framing sheets needed, oh, they needed what to turn them? Oh, look at all this. Framed potion shelves, the framed shelves themselves, uh, the framed desk. Okay, the framed desk needs a torch, a feather, framing boards, and framing sheets. I wanna make that framed desk for sure. And then we need the framed chest with the label. And the recipe for the label are all these framing boards. All right, so I'm not gonna use them for anything else, I don't think, so we'll just make a bunch of framed labels. And then, oh, ta-da, framed chest, wonderful. And you can even like leave down some of these pieces if you just wanna be able to come back quickly. So we'll leave those there. And then let's come over here. Okay, I have the birch wood that I can put here. What would be another really pretty, I wanna do something green. So if we take this willow wood, I can make it into willow wood planks. Let's see. See, I think working with all of the different woods is actually, oh, look how pretty they become. <gasps> but I think working with all these different woods is actually a really clever thing to do because it will help us figure out what materials we can use in the future. And I can actually make leaf. You can make leaves into these frame chests too. It doesn't just have to be types of wood. In fact, I kind of want to see, do I have, you can make wool chest, I'm pretty sure a stone chest, uh, a sand chest, like there's really not very many limits. It's so amazing. Uh, clay, I can make a clay container, a particle block with bubbles, uh, moss paste, what the heck? I've never even heard of moss paste. What do you use that for? That is so interesting. You can make a raw porcelain block eventually, and then I could like have a porcelain block. What? I can have like porcelain chest. Oh, that sounds like something you should have all sorts of elegant things in. That's amazing. All right, what do I have in this one? Oh, look at all of these guys. Can you imagine how beautiful it would be to have our crystal caverns and have like the different lovely ores turned into chest? We can do that too. That's actually something we can do. And I think that you can actually like, yeah, you can use a cutting station and turn the different ores into different blocks as well. Um, and then you can also turn them into like pieces to make tiles. So you could actually take the ores, you could turn them into uh, cut up pieces of the ores and then turn them into tiles and use those tiles however you want. These are actually kind of pretty, huh? Wow, there's just so much we could do. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stick with just the willow wood for now. There we go. 
You put it in the top and then you put the framed chest to the side. Oh, look how cute that is! Oh, you're adorable! Boom! There we go. And now we have a willow wood chest. Oh, this is looking good. I want more shelves. Um, and I think I want to move this shelf a little bit so that we can have it like up here. I kind of just like the oak shelves, as silly as that seems, but I, I do like... Let's try some oak wood shelves. So let's try making some shelves now. All right, framed shelf. And we need the framing boards, okay. It's gonna look a little messy for just a second as our blueprints are all over the place, but that's okay. All right, and then more particle boards. And then more of those boards. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, boom, three framed shelves. I kind of want more. So let's grab a few more of these. Oh, look at how nice that is. This is so much easier to use with like blueprints and things. All right, and then we can come this way and I kind of want like oak wood framed shelves. <gasps> wow, these actually look really good. Oh, wow, okay. Let's go ahead and put these up on the wall. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Oh, and we actually need to clear this area. I need to pick the desk. <laughs> I'm just so excited about like all of the, the new designs, the new ways that we can kind of fill up this area. Oh, this is nice. And then we can take the scraps and we can actually like put them up on the wall if we want to. And eventually just like bring like the framed, the framed chest I'm not really gonna use yet. So we can put that up, the willow wood. Oh, this reminds me so much of my grandpa. No wonder it makes me so happy. Uh, let's see. And we'll put like the oak wood slabs. Just have it all nice and out and about so we can grab it, Lily and Tate, whilst we are busy, busy, busy building. All right, let's see. So what do I want to build next? I want to build the desk next. That's right. All right, so framed desk would need... Whoops. What do we need for that? We need a feather, a torch. We need all the different pieces. Okay, I'm gonna need even more of the little framing boards. And then, do I have any torches, Lillian Tate? I do, so we're good there. And holy doodle days, should I ever have feathers. <laughs> we have a lot of feathers, just I don't think on me. Lillian Tate, do you two have any feathers on you? I need an oakwood plank. I really need to rename one of these planks to like give, because that's what the command is for a dog. You're like, give give in fact i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna rename this plank to the 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 giving uh give command Com command there we go oh that's cute <laughs> all right lily and tate we have an official give command block now which is really adorable i'm gonna put it in my backpack which is quite crowded full of stuff oh and i have some essence berries in there i don't even remember when i put those in there all right hang on a second lily and tate I'm gonna need some feathers, and I think I have a ton of them. I'm actually thinking about trying to have somebody who specializes in feather research. What is the phrase, actually? Do you guys know? Because I, I would really love if someone could please tell me. In fact, come along, my pixel biologist. We need to use our little brains as we tackle all of the different projects that we take on. Ooh, more name tags. Uh, so, seriously, could somebody look up, like, what is the- Oh, carrot seeds! Yes, we'll give those to the Henrys! Uh, could someone look up what you call it when you use- uh, when someone researches feathers, like that's just their specialty is a feather researcher because I am quite curious now All right, and let's take half this feather stack Because we're probably gonna want to use it. Maybe half the ink stack. Do we need wait? Do we need ink? We do not need ink for the desks Okay, and we will want some books though. So I am gonna want to make more books Which actually we can make with the framing sheets, can't we? Didn't we like discover that a while ago? Book, recipe for book. <gasps> the blank patterns, that's right. And they're super easy to make. Oh, with the string and the paper. So now the paper is just being the thing that's gonna start limiting me. But we can make four books with 12 paper. But seriously, aren't feathers amazing? They. Thank you very much, Lala. There we go. I really, I really think that feathers are so cool. I always like study the feathers that I find on walks or the feathers that my birds drop before I like get rid of them. I'll like study them really closely and look at the different parts of the feather. 
But there has to be a word, as oologist is the word for people who actually specialize in researching the uh, eggs of the bird, surely there is a word for the people who specialize in researching the feathers of the bird. Alright, let's put those away. Alright, Lily and Tate. The good thing is, once I get this done, <laughs> then we can just scribble some notes about what I want to work on next, and we can dash off to the next project. Uh, as, uh, you know, as, as, as curiosity, passion, and joy demand it. But alright, so let's see. So, framed desk, framed desk, da na 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 framed desk, desk, there we go. Alright, we want a framed desk. There we are. Put down those sheets, put up the feathers, boom! Three framed desks, just like that. That should be plenty to get us started. And then now we want to try creating. I'm going to need more oak wood. And actually, one of the first things we're going to write in the book of notes for our little wood workshop is going to be about uh, what happens when we run out of oak wood. It involves animals, so I know you guys would be very excited. All right, blank patterns. Whoa, you can make a lot of those really fast. Okay. And then we want to take the paper and we want to take the blank pattern and we want string, which thankfully I have been collecting a lot of with our Spanish moss. All right, we'll go back this way. Oh, that's so much easier than having to go and gather leather. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. And now the only thing really holding me back is that I struggle so much with being able to get enough, um, Definitely struggle so much with being able to get enough paper, but we actually have a Squicken village that I plan on building. I mentioned it to you guys a little while ago, but you know, at the pace that we usually go, it takes a hot minute. Uh, okay, now I need all of, that, all of those ink sacks, but we have quite a few wonderful Squicken who are going to be offering up the ink. <gasps> Hello, Stump! Hello, Daisy. Oh, I'm so glad we finally have gotten to the point. Totally small potato, unnamed snail egg. I'm so glad we've gotten to the point that we are able to take good care. Back up, back up, guys, back up. Take good care of all of, how did I get this root? I think our hedgehog gave it to me. <laughs> of all of our little ambient animals. And then here we go, tons of ink sacks. I'll just take those straight over. There we go. Take those straight over. Oh, yeah, you aren't going anywhere, anywhere, Daisy. You aren't going anywhere. You are safe and sound in the garden. <laughs> oh, that's totally going to affect how I'm going to be taking care of things around the zoo in the future. Because I want to add animals everywhere. That is going to be one of our big goals. All right. And boom. Book and quill. Oh my gosh. I have no more room for the books and quills. <laughs> okay, we'll put down the frame desks. And now I need to decide what kind of wood I would want, to, <laughs> wood I would, <laughs> what kind of wood I want to use uh, for the frame desk in here. I'm kind of thinking just oak wood again, but the cinnamon wood is so pretty too. And can you imagine how nice that would smell to write at a cinnamon wood desk in our little wood workshop? I think we should do it in cinnamon wood. All right, let's get some cinnamon wood. Whoops, whoops, well, I guess I need to start sorting these things anyway. I could probably toss in a couple epitites while we're here. Oh dear, all right, well, yeah, you you go, you go, put everything away for me, please. Uh, I guess even these sulfur sh shelves can go and the roots can go. Do I have any other plants? Since I accidentally, I had all these lily pads in my pocket the whole time. Well, gosh, aren't I just a goose? That's what I get for not cleaning these out so I can actually see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, mud balls, stock gardens. Let's go ahead. I love this. This is our plant sorting chamber. As you guys probably know by now. Oh, wait, no, I need those carrot seeds for the Henrys. And all of these plants are now going to be automatically sorted and put away into the chest. And I don't have to do anything. Man, that was, it took me forever to be able to make that. But it is, to this day, one of the best gifts I have ever given myself. All right, and we'll put the, not the carrot seeds. We're going to use those to give to the Henrys. Oh, slowly but surely. This will free us up a lot of space for when we need to shift into working on the projects that Tata, the trickster god, has for us, which I'm pretty excited about. All right, let's see. Where, oh, where is that beautiful, beautiful <gasps> cinnamon wood? There it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. Oh, look at the dawn in our garden. That is so pretty too. 
All right, wiggle this way. Oh, this is so cute, guys! Look at how much this has changed. This is awesome. And then, <gasps> ta-da! We now have an adorable little cinnamon wood desk. This is so cool. And just like that, we have the notes. We have the notes of uh, the garden woodshed uh, book of notes, uh, book of notes. There we go. And now I can now I can go ahead and make a cute little thing. Uh, this book is to record the dreams that we have for building wonderful things for our garden. As well as the lineage of the various uh, animals, or creatures I guess I should say. Yeah, creatures in the garden. How the harvest, uh, there we go, harvest fair, and other silly ideas that Siri may have and want to bring to life one day. There, now that we finally have this, oh, we'll make it look pretty. We can go ahead and write down some of the ideas that we actually have for the garden instead. And then when we finish that, what we can do is we can actually sign the book and put it to the side. It will end up becoming like a little book like that. I think I just erased everything. I didn't erase everything, thank goodness. It'll be a cute little book that'll just sit to the side and we can start a new book. But this is fantastic, Lillian Tate! This is what we needed! Now I can keep notes on all sorts of things. Uh, Alright, so let's see. What do I want to make the other desks out of? I think one oak wood desk because... There we go. Because it's going to be kind of like a wild desk that I will take with me. And I will put down a new book and quill and we'll kind of scribble down some ideas when I'm out and about. Uh, and then when we come back, like anytime we have a project, I want to basically put down a desk, write down the ideas. Puppies? 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 Give. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> But I want to be able to write down the ideas that I have so if we leave the project suddenly, uh, just because maybe I'm feeling a little bit like doing something else, when we come back I won't be overwhelmed and like, what were we doing? Help! 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 Somebody help the Siri! Uh, Alright, and then maybe one oak wood panel desk? Hmm. I kind of like the look of the wild desk. And you could actually, look, you can make it out of dirt. <laughs> We could have just like a little dirt desk. Can I have a little grass block desk? Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, look at that. Is there like a grass block that's all green so it could look like we're just riding on a little hill? Um, oh, we could have a tall grass container. <gasps> I want to try making a tall grass container desk. That would make it look like it was just literally made out of grass, which would be so awesome. All right, let's see. And do I have some grass in here? I do have some grass in here still. It's gonna take a while for the sorting chamber to actually sort all of that. Wow, I've never used tall grass containers before. This is kind of interesting. All right, and then let's put those plants away. We really are trying quite a few new things right now. All right, hang on Lily and Tate. And boom. Can I, oh man, I can't use it. Phooey. Well, it was a good, it was a good attempt. It was a good thought. Um, let's see. There's long grass blocks, but I don't think I have any of those right now. Smoldering glass blo grass blocks would be kind of cool. Slimy grass might be really cool. Oh man, org layer grass. I haven't seen an org layer in donkey days. Well, I'm gonna make one grass desk as well. Uh, so there we go. Now we've got one grass desk. We have got, oh, we gotta put the give command away. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we've got some tall grass containers that we can just stick up here for now. They look really cool. And three more book and quills. So I can tuck these guys. Oh, geez. Oh, I have so much. I have a Galapagos penguin. I have a peafowl, an unidentified egg. We've got a lot of mess, but slowly and surely I'm going to start organizing myself so that we can jump from project to project better. And now that I have the desk, I actually feel pretty happy with what I've done here so far. But we can come on over and we can mention pressure plates for pressure plates for the doors. Door, 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 doors. Pressure plates for doors. Uh, ladder up 
to the goats. So next time I want to work in the garden, we can just dive into these right away. Remember! And now here's an exciting thing, guys. Remember, once we run out of wood, it is time to call in the beavers! Because I want to try to find a way to be able to add in beavers to our zoo. They would have to probably be Telus beavers that look suspiciously like a retextured Kifibera, but they would be beavers. And then I want to build a uh, little stream. I want to help the beavers have a beaver dam. And I want to watch as the stream ends up becoming a lake. And all around the lake, we would put a whole bunch of wood that we would, no pun intended, have the, uh, the goal of cutting that wood down whenever we needed more for our projects. So once I start running out of the supplies that we have and need different types of wood, you guys might see me try to invite beavers into the zoo or even into the surrounding landscape around us and try to make a, some sort of special, uh, special beaver dam. I think that would be really cool. Oh gosh, there's actually like Here's a good spot. Like, there's a river right over here. That's next to where all the magic is, though, and I don't know if I need magic beavers. Um, gosh, I guess we could have, like, beavers pretty close by. There's a lake already all over here that they might enjoy. So we just would have to kind of pick out the perfect spot for a beaver dam. And then the other goal of the beaver dam is that it would be a great location for us to also start just chopping down trees. So like a good spot where it looks like we could plant some trees, like maybe over here? I could see a beaver dam like right here. And then right over here, this is the edge of a flower field. Um, but we could clear that out maybe and then go ahead. This is normally where we put like some of the Patreon stuff, but we could probably make a nice little beaver dam over here. And then people could come down and kind of visit with them. And maybe we could have another little beaver dam over, over here somewhere at some point. That'd be really fun. But the goal would be to have a nice open space where we could just clear away a bunch of trees whenever we needed the wood. To basically have a tree farm that looks a little bit fancier than what most tree farms look like. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and put away... Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so nice. I love this little shed. It's just, mm, nom nom nom, a little bit of cake. It's been empty for so long, but with a little bit of work, Lily, Tate, and I have now transformed it into something pretty special. There we go, maybe little torches up there. We can put down some iron there, sticks there. I like kind of having everything out where I can see it too. All right, and now we actually have some treats for the Slug Kingdom next time. Um, and I wanna empty out my backpack. <sighs> And then we will be ready, Lily and Tate, to go and see what the trickster wants of us. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this is kind of like interesting and kind of niche uh, to get so caught up in really wanting to make a little woodworking space. But to be honest, the whole time while I was building it, when I would go to sleep at night, I would actually dream about my grandpa. So I'm going to put that down. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. In my little spring joy journal built a woodworking space in the empty shed. It felt so wonderful to see that empty space fill up with fun items and useful ideas. There we go. Uh, also, I thought a lot about Papa while I built it. I wonder what he would think of my, my silly wood there we go. My silly wood creations. There we go. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like for Lily Tate and my very loud chickenberry, who seems to want to let all of you know that she exists today. And I will see you all next time when I can finally mentally leave behind all of the projects that we still have to do here and go do something else because my legs are ready to run across our world. So... I will see you guys then. Remember, stay curious. Bye, guys.